Hello everyone, do not forget to go in the link in the description box to check out my shop where all of my decks are that I created. I do have some new drops coming in, two new drops are coming in in the next couple of weeks. But before that happens, make sure that you pick up all of my older decks such as Melanie the Majesty, which is like y'all favorite, Twin Flames Confessions, um, what's the other one? Queen Ella's Hidden Secrets Oracle, y'all got so many. The fortune forecast <laughs> again y'all there's so many of them and they're like so dope that they're literally like my babies so you have so many options to choose from why not just get all of them bitches you know what i'm saying teach yourself that's self-love you know what i'm saying but anyway everything that you need is a <laughs> everything that you need is in the link in the description box down below to my shop Hi, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel um, so today is about G Herbal, Taina, and the whole Ari situation. So a couple of days ago, Ari had came out and said that Taina, which is G Herbal's first baby, no, no, no. Ari is G, G Herbal's first baby mama. Taina is the second one, I believe. I don't know if he has other children, but we're going to get into that as well. Um, but anyway, she had came out and said that Taina, which is the second baby mother, but I think she has two kids by him, was basically abusing her son. So we're going to get into this messy ass situation. But before we get into today's video, today's video is a video request reading, which means... Fuck, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Wait, babe, I'm not like, I'm not dressed at the bottom. I do apologize about that, you are. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, today is a video request reading, which means somebody already customized today's questions and picked the celebrity and topics that we're going to be talking about in today's video. So if you would like to do this same and get you a video request reading where you could customize your own celebrity tarot reading to get the inside scoop on your favorite celebrities, and it doesn't have to read about just one celebrity, um, you could have, like, you know, your questions be about multiple different celebrities at once. I do have a video request video coming for that one, um, where it's, like, just, like, a mix of, of people. But, yeah, if you would like that, all that information is in the description box down below, as well as all of the personal readings that I offer and the link to the extended for this video. So, let's get into today's video request video and get into these questions. So, the first question is, what is Tanya and D Herbo's? relationship like behind the scenes i'm gonna actually split this question up because i'm gonna answer it in two different ways um i don't want to know about like the lovey doveys i want to know about the the surface level about the relationship so let's get into that first before we get into like you know the salacious things like is there cheating or how are they you know in their relationship how is it going and stuff like that so let's see, what is G Herbo and Taina's relationship like, surface level, or just in general? Do not forget to like this video and comment down below. I have not said that in so freaking long because I've been so freaking sick, child. Oh, I don't like that. Mmm. Mmm. I don't, ugh, I don't really like this. And this is like a, this is like a bitter message, bitch. So listen, let me say something. If you're like super fans of these people, for one, I'm going to be honest with a spread like this. I want to say don't be, <laughs> like do not fantasize or glorify people's relationships because you really do not know what goes on behind the scenes that's the first thing um now let's get into tiana because i've never read on her but like this is interesting this is this is telling me like who she is in this relationship so this doesn't have to be like all of her relationships but i am getting a sense only because this virgo card is right underneath the scorpio card 
this is an indication of a situation like this. So let's start with this Pisces card first. So the, per the type of person that she is, is she takes how she views herself as that's the life that she lives and like wants, wants to like force, and I'm not even trying to like come for her, wants to like force that image as to how other people view her. So basically she is like a like a cookie cutter type of person. Like you know how like you 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 view yourself as like a high value female. This is these are the these are the aspects that I'm getting from her. She views herself as like a high value female. Um it's like I'm not ratchet, I'm not ghetto. Um very upper echelon, <laughs> very upper echelon, likes the finer things. I'm getting like um tedious beauty things like like the details count for her. Um, and she wants other people to view her as like a high value female, no drama, not ghetto, not thirsty. I'm also getting like not like an Instagram thotty. Like that's not the type of person that she is. She's very like I am wife material. Like that is I am the Ten of Cups. I am the Empress. I'm not like the Knight of Wands. I'm not the Queen of Wands. I'm not I'm not anything other less than what I view myself and this is how I view myself this is how I've been treated so I do feel like she's kind of spoiled which that's not a bad thing I am getting like a bratty energy but it's not it's not really realistic because the way that she views herself when she gets treated the way that she gets treated in this relationship is kind of like the opposite it kind of confuses her which is why Pluto is out here it's like um she really wants the general public and other people to view her as like a high value female and certain things don't touch high about certain things or situations don't touch high value females and it has touched her for a reason so i am getting the energy of like she has been humbled with certain experiences in this relationship because she felt like she was kind of better than than that like i'm not i'm not her or like i'm not like <laughs> i'm not like these hoes so like I won't get treated that way, but, like, still getting treated that way. So, she is kind of annoyed about that. I'm also getting the sense of, like, she's annoyed at the fact that other people are viewing this relationship and changing their mind about her. Um, like, kind of viewing her as just another baby mama or just, like, a ratchet baby mama. I don't know what it is about, like, not wanting to be ratchet or not wanting to be super salacious or even like super looked after in that way from other people because you want to keep this persona of like super cookie cutter clean reputation it, but it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like for a brand it just feels like being above everyone now i really wanted to emphasize how she views herself and how she wants other people to view her to make you understand why she operates <laughs> or how or why she felt this way or like I don't even know if like she felt this way because they're telling me it's more like a fantasy way of thinking um her mindset when getting into this relationship it was like she she thought that she could change him um she did see like what he did to Ari and felt like oh you got your whole phase out so like now it's time for me to reap the benefits of a changed man but that's not that's not the energy that like it's giving me i'm also getting that like he even told her like i've got that energy out of me like i've gotten my knight of wands energy <laughs> or my player energy out of me i'm ready to settle down or like i really want you like when he was courting her and she really believed that like she was different i'm gonna be real like and and she wasn't um and they're, and they're telling me that that's one big thing in this relationship that she still has trouble getting over. And I'm even I'm even getting that she has talked to her mom or, like, seeked, seeked advisement from other people to, like, analyze her situation in this relationship. Like, what am I doing wrong? Because I'm getting this energy of, like, literally trying to provide everything that makes the house a home to a person that's just kind of for the streets. Um, now, as far as, like, his energy, he's more so of a person that, like, goes day by day. So, when he wakes up, <laughs> sorry, but, like, when he wakes up, whatever is going to feel indulgent to him, he's going to do it. Um, I am getting that he does love her a lot, but he also has more respect for, like, 
his desires as well. Another thing that I'm getting with Taina is she feels like a relationship can thrive, like a public relationship could thrive when people are not in your business. So she does try to operate more like under under the radar kind of it's like i'm gonna show you the highlights of my relationship but i don't want y'all to know like what really goes on behind the scenes or how i really feel about certain situations when they happen or like things don't even have to happen publicly but she's the type of person that like hides her feelings behind the scenes about certain situations even though she does want to get online and like blow the fuck up because i am getting like a very uh, a very petty energy that antagonizes her multiple different times and it feels like it's not just Ari it feels like it's like bitches like I'm getting like there's other bitches that do antagonize her about the secrets of her relationship so it, it's very difficult for her because it's like trying to keep things a secret that are super public it is super hard like um I'm getting that there's certain things that he participates in or certain actions that he does behind the scenes um, and it does feel like infidelity that she tries to keep under wraps or tries to keep it like a secret or even like how she feels about it. Um, but it's very hard to do so. So I am getting like trying to fake it is kind of making her break a little bit um, as well as like all of the backlash. Now, this is interesting because this is talking about a certain situation that has to do with not feeling supported like just in general like she kind of feels like she's not supported by him a hundred percent because of the actions and the things that he decides to do other than what she wants him to do <laughs> other than what she wants him to do she definitely could be an Aries um or have like a heavy Aries Venus placement because I'm getting like a lot of like structure that she wants in this relationship or just like you know when you argue with somebody but it's not really the situation it's like the principle it's like there's a lot of that going on as well okay, so let's get into like the lovey dovey's of it all so let's see how she feels about this relationship currently and then him so how does Taina feel about the relationship that she has with G Herbo How does she feel about this relationship? But like, I don't know where my other tarot deck is. Most of my stuff is still like in boxes. It's still like in boxes and stuff. Look, what did I say? What did I say? There are like bitches. Okay, so she knows the bitch. She knows the side bitches. She knows the bitches that he be fucking on or that he entertains. I'm getting through like, it kind of feels like detective work to be honest or like her or like her connections. I don't know how she knows these bitches, but I am getting like going out of your way to know what the fuck is going on. So even though she tries to detach herself from like being a ghetto girl or like being one of those it still pops up in her life because it kind of feels like heavy judgment on people that do do that i'm getting this energy of like viewing ari as like crazy delusional ratchet wants attention um loves to seek attention but it's kind of like being in her shoes has made her shift her perspective on her <laughs> and it's weird and, and i'm kind of getting from ari this is weird because she's coming up i'm kind of getting from ari like yeah, you thought you thought you wanna you thought you won a prize with that one, but but that's not what it is. But it's not just Ari. It's yeah, look, it's not just Ari. It's like other bitch. It's like other bitches. You know what? Okay, so when I do celebrity readings, yeah, not just saw two two two. When I do celebrity readings, there's like a process that I do. Um, I do the same process as if I was doing a personal reading. So I have already tapped into these people's energy and meditated into their energy, and I was feeling like some weird energy. Like I could tell when somebody's manipulating energy as soon as I tap into it, 
And like I was feeling that. I definitely feel like somebody's doing some black magic or something like that. We're definitely going to get into this. You know what? Let me break this down real quick. Because I want to know who the fuck is, is doing. You know what? Let's just see real quick what this back. Who is doing this, this magic? Which one of these people is doing this this magic? This 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 magic. <laughs> yeah, it's like being in Ari's shoes has like gave, gave given her a new perspective on like even her own man. It's weird because it's like things went super fast as as in regards to like their feelings, but at the same time, it's like the problems came a little too fast too, bitch. It's like wait, so like. Is, does that mean that the honeymoon phase is over? Like, are you really doing this? I'm even getting, like, a shocked reaction to, like, how he moves. And also, like, wanting to know how he operates. I feel like she's talked to multiple different people about, like, not only her relationship. Like, people that are, that are in the industry. Not, like, mean, not, like, people that, like, will expose it. <laughs> but I am getting, like, this sense of, like, that might happen, bitch. Um... But anyway, it's like she, she wants to know why he does the things that he does. Or like even like wanting or being confused as to like why she's not good enough for him to like not want to seek other people because he is in love with her. It's like, is this just who you are or does it have to do with your career? I'm also getting like when whenever Ari like pops out or make or makes accusations about her, she does want to like like fuck shit up like i am getting the energy of like i'm gonna keep it cute but bitch i will fuck your shit up but it's weird because she's been petty as well oh friends who's doing this magic Can I get a sign? Whoa. Okay, I don't feel like this person is a witch themselves. I feel like they go to warlocks. Like, like a man that does it. And it feels like to improve... Yeah, to... Oh, child. To improve, like, their relationship. I'm not getting to... It's Taina... This feels like, this feels like Ari's energy. I'm gonna be real with you. Um, it feels like like work to be done to that relation to that certain profitable relationships don't end. Um, to re to re-energize like the connection, like to make to make their partner do things that are more affectionate. Like I'm getting like certain gifts and like yeah, look, look like blessings. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at that when I was because I'm getting the messages intuitively, but they're coming in so fast. I'm trying to like whatever but anyway um it's like this person reaches out to people to get this work done it does feel like love work but it also like money work as well so this could be like sugar daddy work okay i'm gonna be real with you to like be gifted things to get constant rewards for for like simple things to feel like a princess to feel indulgent to literally be nurtured and also money as well so yeah, we definitely gonna get into this in Queen of the Secret Room. I already wrote it down, child. But as far as this relationship, it's like all of the cheating and the infidelity really stresses her out. And I'm getting that it's more so like a humbling experience because of not only like it feels like like um kind of like karma, yo. I'm gonna be honest, karma for what? Let's see, what is this karma for? Like, why does she need to be humbled in this relationship? I do feel like this is teaching her a lesson. Oh, well, damn. Well, this has to do with like her kind of like princess mentality. I'm gonna be honest with you. And that's so interesting because I have a princess mentality as well, but not to this extent. I'm getting that there are certain people that were friends with her that do feel burnt by her because of how she acts or like uh, how she treated them when when they were in a certain situation i'm kind of getting like 
and these this feels like people that are also in the industry it's like she doesn't want to associate with people that are too ratchet and ghetto like she like if you are given too much she will not be receptive to it she's more like a lori harvey type of energy like she can't hang out with like a k michelle she she wouldn't get jiggy with like a a who i'm trying to think of a person that's like just doing too much like a Sukiana, like absolutely the fuck not. I'm even getting like people that are on the borderline of being ghetto, um, that she used to be linked with or like friends with. She's kind of like shitted on them without saying too much. It's just a certain energy, like I'm better than you, or like I would never deal with that, or like she is like the person that has that will be stamped. That will never happen to me to like the 10th degree. And it's like happening to her. I'm also getting because she has antagonized certain people with like, and this is like super underhanded, y'all. I'm so sorry because like she's a pretty girl and you know, I like her. Like she's cute. I feel like she has beautiful children. I feel like she's a beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? Um, Her mama need to get her together. But I'm I'm getting this energy of like not being the most positive in you know the judging arena with people that are around her that give off how she's being treated. It's like women women that I that I would never fuck with should get treated like this and not me. So she does have like some type of complex about her. All right. But I mean it was it was kind of like taught to her. I'm also getting, like, there's going to be more things that come out about, like, what he's doing that's going to really mentally, like, destroy her confidence. Um, and what I mean by mentally destroy her confidence, it's, like, not knowing what he's doing at all times is really going to stress her out. Or, like, is he lying about his whereabouts here or there? Or, like, what's going on with this situation? Or this bitch that just texted me, were you really with this person? It's, like, one of those. So, let's see. How does he feel about this relationship? And then we're going to get into, is Ari bitter or overprotected, y'all? And was Tiana, I think that's her name, Tiana. Taina? Taina, I think. I think it's Taina. What the fuck? Taina, was she hitting your son? Ooh. So let's see, how does G or both feel about this relationship? Going viral. hates when y'all talk about about anything that has to do with him if it's like it doesn't matter what it is it's like if it's about his relationship it's like all right fuck you bitches but he still looks at everything like he's still gonna watch <laughs> so it's like why why fuck us if you still want to see what our opinions is um i'm getting that like he gets annoyed about how up in arms she gets when things go viral because i am getting like emotional distress What the fuck? He is really a crazy ass nigga, bro. How does he feel about this relationship? <sighs> yeah, look, bitch. I'm getting that they're broken up currently or will be in the next coming weeks. Period. He's very weird because he kind of feels like Anybody that he's in a relationship with should prove their love and their loyalty to him. Um, he actually feels like it's an honor to go through so many things with the, with the person and still say that, like, you know, you guys are together. So he definitely has some healing that he needs to do because that is not okay, all right? So he's, like, in support of struggle love. Like, he feels like that shit's okay. Now, as far as, like, anything that has to do with um, social media... He hates being talked about. I'm getting that that's one of his pet, biggest pet peeves. Not only because it causes drama in his household, but it also causes, like, tension with his kids. Um, To the point where he feels like, oh, well, I'm not going to be able to see my son. Even though the energy that I'm getting is, like, you don't you don't really be checking that much for, for him anyway. Like, I'm getting this energy of, like, I hate to say this, but being a social media dad, to be honest with you, because it's like he wants to be portrayed as super involved, super 
yeah, like just involved when kind of dodging, you know, your responsibilities if it doesn't have to do with money, which is like, that's not really being a parent. So he does, he, yeah, look, he definitely needs to get his priorities in order, all right? Um, but yeah, I'm seeing like a breakup. I'm getting that they are going through drama currently and it doesn't even have to do with this situation about the whole your son situation and Ari coming out and everything like that. This is like personal that they have going on. Even though I don't feel like he's going to leave her, they're still like not together. And I am getting that she has like some emotional distraught about the situation currently as well. And again, she does hide her feelings. But he's more interested in like all of these bitches on his dick while she's trying to really practice self-love and choose herself out of certain situations because she feels like she's being taken for granted of, not only because of his infidelity, but it's like she she feels like she feels like he doesn't appreciate the things that she does not have to accept from him. And I am getting that that has to do with his baggage. What are these things? Let's see. Um, you know what? I'm going to use my deck. Why not, y'all? I'm going to use my deck. I'm going to use Twin Flames Confessions Volume 2 with Batty Deck, which is coming out very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that. What are these things that she feels like he doesn't appreciate or takes for granted? Bitch. She definitely will block his ass. But then like, yeah, that's what I was just about to say. <laughs> she will block his ass, but then like still take him back. I'm also getting that, like, she need to be careful with, like, how her mouth is. Because there might be somebody that's going to be doing some work on her relationship as well. I'm not getting that she's doing work. I am getting that, you know, are you doing some work on money bag? But, I mean, she might be incorporated in that if she don't get her shit together. What are the things that she feels like he takes for granted? All right, let's get into... Oh, damn, that's a lot. Look, I know I chose the wrong person. Mm. Okay, so for one, it has a lot to do with him not being fucking home. Like, what is that about? Like, if you love me, why ain't you with me? So I'm getting, like, times, times away from home when she could be doing other things... But she's home being loyal and, like, tending to the house. I'm also getting this energy of, like, nigga, if, if you want to really cheat on me like that, I could be cheating on you as well because my DMs are popping. Um, another thing is taking for granted, like, like her intuition will tell her what he's doing before he actually does it. So I do feel like she is very intuitive. But it also feels like not really, not really, not really appreciating what she does for him. Like... And I fucking explain this. It's like multiple different things. It's not just one thing. Yeah, it's like it's not just one thing. It's multiple different things. Again, she will block his ass to make him like beg for it or to make him like fix the situation. She loves when he when he's in like fixing the situation mode. Um, again, more of that princess mentality, but like it's kind of granted because of how he does her. And I'm even getting like he has messed with people that are close to her, like that that were friends of hers, or even like odd bitches. Oh, I don't like that. So like he's one of those. Like he don't he don't really he don't really give a fuck, even though he's in love with her, which is so freaking weird. Like why are you in love with somebody and you're treating them this way? Um, but it has a lot to do with um, Ari as well. Like, I don't have to deal with her or I don't have to deal with your son, but I do out of love and respect for you and you don't appreciate that. It's like not, I, there's not a lot of bitches that would accept what you are given and still have to deal with like the infidelity type of thing. So she really feels like she's not being appreciated even though she loves the lifestyle. <laughs> Child, she loves that damn lifestyle. I'm also getting like she could have better friends because her friends the pe or the people that she confides 
in um regarding this relationship don't give her the best advice is also what i'm getting yeah it's like she confides in her friends and they don't really give her the best advice i'm getting that there's something else that's gonna come up and it's gonna be super public and it does feel like an infidelity type of thing i'm getting that he's gonna get caught all right but again like her friends or whoever she's seeking out for advisement is not giving her the right like information or like not giving her the right advice. It's like this person's telling her to stay and like see things through because she has a family. Even though I don't feel like the disrespect is going to stop. I feel like it's going to increase. Now there is something else that's coming up. I'm getting that there's like a, there's like a, um, I don't know if it's like a company or somebody that's going to like reach out to her to collaborate with something. And that's going to be super successful. It could have to do with like makeup or just like a brand. Like a like a, a brand working with her. Or like putting their product, putting her name on their products. I do feel like that's going to be super successful. I even see in the next three, three years that she's going to create something of her own. Like her own business. And that's going to be successful as well. So I'm getting that like all of her money endeavors are going to do super well. But as far as like this relationship, I'm getting that like he's still going to be on bullshit. And it feel like her friend's going to be telling her to accept the bullshit. Alright, so let's get into Ari. So is Ari a bitter baby mama or is she just super protective? Like, what is the tea? Let's get into this and see if, you know, she doing the most or she's just being a good mom. Let's see. Is Ari just bitter? Oh, okay, Venus, love. Bitch, she wants...